is Miss Reed, and this is the AB Calculus AB 2025 question number four for the free response. No calculator. Go to my website, mrreden.com, for all kinds of calculus needs. You can see this is a graph. This is a graph, and you can see they gave us g of x is equal to the integral from 6 to x of f of t dt, which means 6 is your frame of reference. Everything going this way will be normal. Everything going this way will be opposite, which means this will be positive area, this will be negative area, and this will be positive area right there. Something else you want to take a look at is, is g of x is equal to the integral from 6 to x of f of t dt. What is that dealing with? That's dealing with the areas under the curve. We want to also take a look at the g prime of x is the first derivative of this. The derivative of the integral goes away, which means this is just f of x. This is the points on your graph, the points on your graph. So the first derivative of g is your f of x. It's just the points on the graph, which means g prime prime of x is f prime of x, which is the slopes on your graph. If you know these three things, this problem becomes very, very easy. If you don't put these three things down right away, first of all, I think you get a point usually for uh, usually the first derivative or maybe the second derivative of this, but if you do this, it tells the reviewer you know what the heck you're doing. So let's take a look at question A. Question A said, what is g prime of 8? Well, what is g prime of x is just f of x, which means g prime of 8 is just f of 8. We're just going, where's f of 8? f of 8's right here. We're looking for the points. That's equal to 1, and that's my answer, is g prime of 8 is equal to 1. Let's go to part B. Part B is asking for points of inflection. Points of inflection is the second derivative. The second derivative of x is the first derivative, or the slopes of your line. Well, when we're looking for points of inflection, we're looking for where is the second derivative changing from positive to negative or negative to positive. So what are we looking for is where does f prime of x or the slopes change from positive to negative or negative to positive? Well, right here you can see the slopes are going from negative to positive, so x is equal to negative 3 is one of those points. Where it's going, the slopes are going from negative to positive. Right here at x is equal to positive 3, the slopes are going from positive to negative. And right here at x is equal to 6, yes, it can be a sharp point. The slopes are going from negative to positive, which means all three of these points, all three of these values are points of inflection. And we want to tell the reviewer why these that negative 3 is going, the slopes are going from negative to positive, and so on and so forth. And that gives us the points of inflection. Now we want to know what g of 12 is. Well, what is g of 12 is the integral from 6 to 12 of f of t dt. We're looking at the areas from 6 to 12, so the area under this curve right here. And when we take this area, it's the area of a triangle, that is equal to plus 9. Okay. We also want to take g of 0, which is from 6 to 0 of f t dt. We're going backwards here. So like I said, when we go backwards, since this is a positive area, we're going backwards, it's going to be a negative area. We're going to use one half of pi r squared. The radius is 3, and remember that's negative, so 3 squared is 9. So we get negative 9 over 2 pi, or negative 9 pi over 2. And those are my two values right there. Last but not least, it's asking for what value of x at which g attains an absolute minimum value. And so we're looking for an absolute minimum value of g. So we're going to take a look at our endpoints first. So we let's look at g of negative 6, which is the integral from 6 to negative 6 of f of t dt. And if this is our frame of reference, we went negative 9 pi over 2. Then we went positive 9 pi over 2, which means we're back at 0 again at this point. We know at uh, g of 6, we're equal to from 6 to 6 of f of t dt. We're also at 0. That's our frame of reference right there. We want to look at our other endpoint, g of 12. At g of 12, we know we're going from 6 to 12. We've already figured that out. That is equal to positive 9. Okay, That's looking like the maximum, 
we don't know whether we're at the minimum or not. Well, we also want to take a look at where G, um, where G is going to also have a relative min or max, and that's going to be at zero because that's where the first derivative is equal to zero, which means we're going from six to zero of f of t dt. Yes, that is a zero, and that is a six right there. And we get negative nine pi over two, which is the absolute minimum value, which means x is equal to zero, which, which would be the absolute minimum value of that. And that is the AP Calculus 2025 for your response question number four. Thanks. Check out my other videos. Check out my website, misraden.com. Thanks. Bye.